Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second part to the question on fish oil and uh, depression. Um, basically, the, my, the question that was asked uh, of me was, uh, what is the correlation of fish oil intake and uh, depression? So basically, what I want to do first, I want to define depression or um, the CNS, uh, CNS um, pathology that is known as depression. So, basically know that depression is a serious disorder that afflicts about 14 million adults in the United States a year. The lifetime prevalence rate of depression in the United States has been estimated to include 16% of the adults, which is equivalent to 21% of the women, 13% of the men, or more than 32 million people. The symptoms of depression are intense feelings of sadness, hopelessness, despair, as well as the ability to experience pleasure in, in, in usual activities also observe changes in sleep patterns and appetite loss, um, a loss of energy, suicidal thoughts, mania is characterized by the opposite behavior. It is the enthusiasm, rapid thoughts, speech patterns of um, uh, we observe impaired judgment. Uh, also note that depression and mania are different from schizophrenia, which is basically just the, the production of disturbances in thought. So basically, I, wa um, I want to make it known that uh, when you have depression, when you treat depression with uh, antidepressant drugs, um, and there are different types of antidepressant drugs, um, such as the SSRIs, which are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, such as um, citalopram, citalopram, uh, fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, paroxetine, sertraline. And then we also, there's another category called serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Uh, these include um, venlafaxine and duloxetine. And then there is <clears throat> another category called atypical antidepressants, such as um, bupropion, uh, mirtazapine, nifazidone, trazodone. Another category is the tricyclic, anti uh, tricyclic antidepressants, or TCAs. Uh, these aren't really that popularly used anymore, but uh, there's a large continuum of these drugs. There are including amitriptyline, amoxipine, um, clomipramine, despermine, doxepine, imipramine, Maprophylline, um, nortripline, protriptyline, uh, gemipramine. And then we have MAO, uh, or known as mono, uh, monoamine oxidase inhibitors. These include uh, phenylazine, transcyclopramine. And then we have uh, drugs to treat mania, which is carbamazepine, lithium salts, and valproic acids, or divalproic acids. Um, basically, we, we treat depression by giving them uh, mostly SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or if the patient is um, refractory to SSRIs, we give them uh, SNRIs, which is serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, such as venloxetine or duloxetine. Basically, the mechanism of action of these antidepressant drugs is that uh, it, uh, it blockades the reuptake of their seroton serotonin, which is responsible for the depressive activity. Uh, the, the, the prevention of the reuptake of serotonin therefore leads to the increased concentration of the neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft. And because of this increased concentration, ultimately, therefore, we have observance of a greater postsynaptic neuronal, neuronal activity. And antidepressants, including SSRIs, typically take two weeks to produce improvement of mood, and maximum benefit may require at least 12 weeks or more. However, none of the antidepressants is uniformly beneficial. That's why we have to use double dose or uh, uh, take two different types of medications. Approximately 40% of depressed patients treated with, with adequate doses of drug uh, for um, four to eight weeks do not respond to the antidepressant agent. However, the patient does not, that do not respond to, to one antidepressant may respond to another, and approximately 80% or more will respond to at least one antidepressant drug. Do note that these drugs do not produce central nervous uh, stimulation or mood elevation in normal individuals. So basically, just know that um, when a patient is, uh, is, a, dep is a depressed patient, um, we or uh, we would give them two different. Uh, we would give them uh, two types of drugs: one SSRIs or SNRIs if that doesn't work. And um, back to the main point, though, fish oil. What does fish oil do? We actually, from medical trials, uh, fish oil actually uh, has. Uh, Modulate, modulative activity on serotonin levels, which we understand the serotonin levels is directly correlated to depressive moods, right? So, uh, from a recent study by the Mayo Clinic, it states that a number of studies suggest that fish oil supplements may be an effective add-on 
or is known as an adju adjuvant therapy for depression. In fact, some studies suggest that fish oil supplements may be as effective as prescription antidepressant medication, but the two in combination are more effective than uh, either taken one alone. So basically, uh, we want to use this is basically called a dual therapy. We would give a patient an SSRI, uh, SSRI type drug, like uh, like a really common SSRI type drug, like citrapo, like citalopram, or fluoxetine, or paroxetine. So let's say a patient uh, is 42 years old, female, um, is suffering uh, from depressive activity. We would give her citalopram, and we could even give her fish oil to decrease the symptoms of depression. Um, fish oil is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, as I said before in the last slide. Fatty acids have been shown to play an important role in brain function, as well as normal growth and development. And some research has suggested that people who have depression have low blood levels of um, eicosanopentoic acid, uh, a fatty acid found in fish oil. So basically, we can alleviate the the uh, decreased level of eicosanopentoic acid (EPA) by giving them fish oil. So that can be alleviated. Um, so that answers your question, uh, Ethelin. Uh, yes, uh, fish oil can be used as, a, as an adjuvant therapy to uh, depression, but it's perfect to combine it with citalopram or fluoxetine. I hope that answers your question, ma'am. You smart lady, you. Uh, and for all those that are listening to this, uh, you know, ask any question, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions uh, to the best of my ability, because uh, we're learning this as well as we're going through pharmacology, uh, and also going, and this is also, uh, we're going, learning through this uh, in uh, psychiatry as well. So thank you very much. Have a nice day, guys. God bless. Bye.